Guangxi Toyota in China to cut 1,000 jobs. Early termination of 1,000 temporary workers. There is not much time left for Japanese joint ventures dash. We will deliver a summary from the article published in Record China. August 3, 2023 by Tokyo Express Auto, Sales. Twenty first century economic coverage. July twenty fifth, twenty twenty three, Guangxi Toyota reported that it will cut one thousand dispatched workers. GAC Toyota, Japanese Chinese joint venture automaker. Source story: Guangzhou Toyota reduced its workforce in view of recent production levels. Terminated contracts for one thousand temporary workers early. Guangxi Toyota comments. Partially dispatched employees are eligible. It does not involve regular employees. It's a normal step-by-step -step adjustment. Not a large-scale restructuring due to declining sales. Employees subject to contract cancellation. Last weekend, the contract was terminated and compensation was offered. Temporary employees. I received a text message telling me that I didn't have to go to the night shift. In the evening when I returned from the day shift, I received a message to cancel the contract. It was a sudden cancellation notice for temporary employees. Guangzhou Toyota Sales Volume In June, 87,200 units were sold, down 13.5% year-on-year. Cumulative sales volume from January to June was 452,800 units, down 9.48% year-on-year. Neve Sales Volume the cumulative sales volume from January to June is 137,700 units. It accounted for 30.4% of the total. However, it is lower than the Neve penetration rate of 32.4% in the Chinese market. Japanese Neve Guangzhou Honda, Dongfeng Honda Dongfeng Nissan, Shanghai Automotive, etc. accelerating the launch of Neve but the time left for Japanese joint ventures is not long. Toyota's joint venture in China. Early termination of contract for 1,000 dispatched workers. Voices of Internet Users of Yahoo! News. The main opinions are as follows. Deflation in China. Overall sales of Chinese cars are negative. The number of Neve sales also peaked. This shows that China is in deflation. The harsh winter will come for Japanese manufacturers from now on. Toyota's decision is correct. Profitability is not expected even if EVs are forced to be promoted in China. In the future, the Chinese economy will continue to decline. Other Japanese companies should also withdraw from China as soon as possible. More from Tokyo Express. Saudi Arabia and Japan, 26 memorandums announced. China, export restrictions on gallium, etc. Export restrictions in Japan, US, Netherlands, half of exports to China have disappeared. Sony's camera production, separate from China for Japan, US, Europe. Japan, subsidies for companies leaving China. US, to review uranium imports from Russia. Taiwan, Relaxing import restrictions on Japanese food. 